Who chooses the, the songs that um, Bruno performs in his act? Uh, pretty much he picks the ones he likes himself. You know, we do own uh, an Elvis Presley memorabilia shop in Hawaii, similar to the ones that you see across the street from Graceland. And um, he spends a lot of time um, with me and my wife when we're at the store, and he handles everything, and he watches the videos and listens to the cassettes and studies the pictures, and he's really fascinated and in love with the Elvis image. nervous or frightened or do you just enjoy it? I enjoy it. And do you know that he prays before each and every performance sincerely, you know, clasps his hands, closes his eyes and thanks the good Lord for giving him whatever talent that he has and hopes that the people will like what he does. Thank you, I love you all. In Bruno's case, they've fallen in love with him as though he were Elvis himself. I've been doing Elvis since 1974. I saw him perform 39 times live, and uh, I was so fascinated with him that I moved to Memphis, and I also moved to Las Vegas to go to his shows. I could knock on the door, and they let me in. You know, he was so sweet and so nice, and it was just really neat. And Elvis would say, hello, Janet, you know, and, it got to the point where we were just real good friends. And I never really was fascinated with him so much that like I wanted to be, you know, romantically involved with Elvis. I, I wanted to be Elvis. Isn't that really bizarre? <laughs> but I mean, it's just one of those, that is just me, you know? And, and that was the kind of relationship we had. It was like, a, he was a part of me, you know? Was, when I sing, I, I feel him coming through me. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling. Oh, I will be this my picture of Elvis and me at the Hilton, February 5th, 1970. And um, he had just done a show that night. <laughs> it was so neat. He said, um, you get, you, get, you get you to go to the show, you know, Elvis would stutter, like I do. And I'd say, oh, no, 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 our plane just got in, and blah, 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 blah. And finally, Elvis just went, you know, like, like that, and blew his hair, and, and he just hugged me, and, he, and, I, and we just, you know, I got to kiss him a lot. Along the edge of the stage, he'd see me, and he'd say, you again, you know, and you like that, huh? <laughs> and it was just kind of, uh, you know, I just really got to know him well. I try to portray what I saw to share with everybody. And so sometimes it comes off, people are confused because I am ladylike, you know, I have the long blonde hair and I am feminine. But at the same time, when I get to singing, all of a sudden this Elvis start, stuff comes out of me, and I just have no control over it. You ain't nothing but a hell no. You ain't nothing but a hell no. You ain't nothing but a hell no. 
Springs, Mississippi, and uh, we're having a tour of the house today, and we're in the record room, and I started collecting these records when I was 13 years old, when I first heard Elvis sing, and from that day on to this day, I've been collecting. I never have stopped, and I never will stop, and uh, we put together this collection for my son that we named after Elvis, even misspelling his name with the one A the way that it, his mother and father did with the uh, A-R-O-N. We didn't put the other A to it until after Elvis's dad uh, put the A on his tombstone up there, making it the double A for Aaron. And this is my son, Elvis, right here. Hello, my name is Elvis Aaron McLeod. I was named after Elvis Presley when I was born on July 27th, 1973. What you see around us is the record room, like my dad has said. We have RCA Victor Records from back in 1956 all the way to his first release from Sun Records. We have a Gold Series Records. We have his soundtrack albums. We have an abundance of record albums, cassettes, and CDs. As you can see, right here is a week with TV Guide. Elvis is on the front of this TV Guide. These TV Guides go date back to 1956 to this present day. We collect TV guides, which just has strictly Elvis on the front, like the one Elvis has got here, with Elvis being on the Frank Sinatra show when he was released from the service. And it's all, they're all collector's items. And we save additional copies for fans worldwide. And like Elvis said, that we put pins on every section in any TV guide that mentions of Elvis's name 24 hours a day for the programs. And there's thousands of pins here. As you can notice back here in the background here, that uh, and we catalog them 24 hours a day of every program that Elvis has mentioned on, regardless of what it is, from cartoons to the flying saucers to Johnny Carson, any show involving Elvis from the time he started out, from the Tommy Dorsey show to the last performance he gave. We have got a catalog. We can tell you what year it was on, what month, what week, what day, what time, what channel. We can always and tell you if it's been repeated also. Oh, hey. Have you entered the competition before? Yes, this is my third year. Sir. And how did you do the previous years? Uh, we uh, made the finals. 